we have got to talk about what is going on with Burberry under Daniel Lee because I wasn't ready. What do I mean by this? So back in February, when we saw the first glimpse of new creative director, golden boy at Bottega Veneta, uh, Daniel Lee, British designer going into one of the, you know, like heritage British fashion houses, a match made in heaven, theoretically, okay? I did a whole like review on the collection and whatever, and like, it was fine. Some things I loved, some things I did not love, but generally I was really excited about this new era for Burberry because it's been one of those brands that's been a little bit hard for creative designers to find their footing. So I've been really excited to see the new collection drop, see the pieces, see the pricing. And my gosh, was it a reality check? Um, it's very interesting. The pricing has gone from Burberry to Bottega and I don't know if it's going to work so I thought that we would have a little look through the collection on the website. There is there's, there's some particular pricing that's very interesting and also look at some of the pieces because there's some very sort of like heavily influenced pieces from his time at Bottega. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Also have a podcast, links will be below. Check it out. Okay. So as we know, we've sort of seen the new branding from Burberry. They're really focusing on the cobalt blue, on the prawsome night, which I'm excited about because I love that little night motif. Okay. It's sort of, you know, medieval and a little bit fabulous. <laughs> uh, new font, a serif font. Thankfully, you know, I love a serif font over the sans serif that everybody else seems to be doing. And then we go into Winter 2023 collection. And um, there's a lot, there's a lot to break down here. One thing I also want to keep in mind is over the last sort of few, it's probably been about a year now, definitely the last six months, Burberry has started removing itself from promotional codes. So, you know, there are certain brands that when there's a promo code on a website, they're excluded. So it's usually like, um, Gucci, Valentino is usually in there, Saint Laurent. Burberry added themselves to that list, which was already a little bit of a movement in the way of like, okay, they're trying to rebrand themselves maybe. Is this the direction that they're going in? And um, I think that we can. Right, so aside from these like very sort of shoes that I would never go for in this sort of shearling, that do they look comfortable? Yes there's comfort and there's aesthetics and how much are you willing to give up on aesthetics for this level of comfort? But what you'll see with the shoes is that they're very sort of Bottega coded. You can tell that he's moved from Bottega with some of the shoes. The, th the pieces that really sort of hit home with the pricing because there's some really, really ridiculously priced pieces that we'll get to, but things like a shirt and a skirt because these are pieces that like, you know, I've looked at it Burberry before, old Burberry, and generally know the pricing of off the top of my head. And and, and for like a run of the mill, like nothing crazy um, material, you're really, you were sort of looking at between 500 to, I would say like 850 pounds, right? For a Burberry skirt. Here we have a sort of, you know, entry level, it's a wool blend and it's 1,490 and for, for, for why? You know, I love the gray and the yellow, but it's a big jump for the Burberry customer. But then again, who is the Burberry customer? I think that they've had a little bit of a rough time carving out the usual Burberry shopper who's coming back for every season and all of that. And and you know what? Maybe, maybe this is gonna work. I mean, this is this is a wool blend shirt and it's hundred pounds less than the skirt. And don't ask me why, but in my mind, skirts are more expensive than shirts. I feel like there's more going on there, but whatever, fine. What is this cousin it bag? I mean I've joked about I do quite like that though. Mm, that's a nice little moment there, but still, okay, this is interesting again because you can make a lot of parallels between this and Bottega and this is, you know, it's maybe giving pouch vibes. I will say that I do love that gold clasp um, and that it's a B, but the rest of it is, I mean, fabric, yeah, it's 
cotton polyurethane and acrylic and then you know calf leather on the inside because it's all faux i think it's going to take some time for the usual burberry customer or for customers in general to get around to the new burberry pricing because like three thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds for a burberry bag like I think we all have our internal limits or gauges on how much certain brands charge, right? You're, you, you like semi-prepare yourself, right? You're like, oh yes, I know Chanel's gonna be ridiculous. Um, I know that, you know, Gucci, my limit is up to 3,000, whatever, you know? So, and to be honest with you, like I can see these sort of shearling looking shoes doing well, even though they are absolutely not my style, but it's like wool blend tights, tights, Gucci tights are cheaper than this. £490 for a pair of tights. I'm pretty sure when Chanel does tights, they're like 500, 550. Why, why are you, why are you in the competing price bracket? What's going on here? So, I mean, I'm a little bit, our gal will sketch her, you know. The, the rocking horse bag, it's fine. It's fine, there's nothing sort of in there. I was excited about this sodding turtleneck. I saw it on the Instagram and I was like, sign me up when it comes out. For 1590 mm, I don't know anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and touch it. Like, is this the best turtleneck ever? Mohair. Isn't that a bit scratchy? Oh, I mean, what is going on? Fair enough, I like the fact that they're doing the kilts in different colours. I like the fact they're focusing a lot on the Nova check. I like the fact that they're doing it in different colours, right? Props to them. I mean, come on, how is it possible that the most affordable thing here is the hot water bottle at £290? How very date, that one looks small as well. In the grand scheme of hot water bottles, this is a small one. I'm just, I'm a little shaken. I am. Right, you see, things like this, where I think they'll end up doing quite well is accessories, which is generally where a lot of brands end up performing financially very well, right? Is accessories, less so ready to wear. Shoes and bags. And Daniel Lee is very good at those two things, as we know from the resurgence of Bottega. So these sorts of mules and that kind of thing is where he has the potential to do really well for them. Like these, are these for me? No, they're not, right? 690 pounds, sort of, okay, thereabouts in the general price for a designer shoe, okay? I would say it's it's semi in the middle there. I do, I do like the under. That's quite a nice little thing that they've done on the bottom of the sole there. I like that. So I think that these are nice. Oh my gosh, how are those tights 500? I think that these are very nice. You know what, fine. I'm not just gonna be a negative Nelly the whole time. I do like those little mules, those fluffy little pet mules. So you've got Strappy McStrapperson all on the front and then shearling lined. Now, if I know anything from my scraggly Louis Vuitton shearling lined slides, that shearling, if you're wearing it regularly, not gonna be shearling anymore, my love. So this, I don't know how many, it, then again, it is just a trim. It is just a trim, touching the floor. Here's the other thing, aftercare. What if those little scraggly little bits do get matted and gross? Can you take it into store and say, I would like a cleaning service? You know, there's a lot to think about here. Swan print top, straight to sale. The, you know, like some of the pricing makes sense. I mean, those those Shearling Highland, whatever that is, as a shoe, is still there. Some of the pricing generally makes sense, right? Like 2,690, whilst a lot of money, Burberry's trenches have always sort of been that top end sort of price range. This, you know, makes sense. I like the, the fur collar here. It comes in a few colors. Great, right? Like, how is how is how are some things making sense and some things we're very far from it? What is this? Oh, we've got oh, we've okay. So we are a a flip flop, a sandal. There's a there's a bit of velvet in there, and you've got the shearling trim, and that's definitely touching the floor. That is so much, so much to take in. I mean, really, the only place that this is appropriate is like if you're just sort of very fabulous and these are your home slippers, you know? 
Ooh. Okay. I mean, don't talk to me about this sort of nondescript bag. How you see, one thousand three hundred ninety for for the blanket. Okay, thereabouts makes sense. You would expect like a designer wool blanket to be around the thousand pound mark. You know, Hermes. I think you're like what one thousand five hundred. A Fendi one is around that. Okay, fine. That makes sense. And then you're here. Don't the scarves were never six ninety, were they? Anyway, okay. And then you have the flag dress for wait for it wait for it fourteen thousand nine hundred pounds metallic embroidery and tassels relaxed fit who is buying this it's not even nice like i don't know i don't know if i'm just a bit bitter because i'm very used to old Burberry's prices as we all are i mean this chest bag this chest satchel fine but Oh, the leather strap boots. No. Oh, there's so much going on. Okay. This is very Bottega. The rubber boots. They're doing a lot of like, yes, we get it. Sort of wellies are very British because it rains here all the time. We know that terrible weather. It's great, whatever. Okay. Um, and his puddle boot performed very, very well at Bottega. So we're sort of starting to see that influence here as well. The rubber marsh tall boot, 650. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a beanie hat with a duck on it that looks like your grandma got bored and wanted you to have something cute for your birthday for 2,990 pounds. Feather stretch viscous, 50,000? When was the last time Burberry had something that was priced at fifty thousand fifty thousand pounds on the website? And one again, once again, okay, I know this is my personal opinion. It's not that nice, okay? What is going on? Silver rose rig, the, 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 and they were like, just in case you didn't like that color, we've also done it in a blue and black. I think that these rubber boots are going to do well. The puddle boots did well. These are like a heeled version. They're Burberry. More tights in different colours. More of these sandals. That bra is cute. Is it cute for £690? Is any bra cute for £690? You know? The, a shearling trench for 10000 Why can I just see myself just going into the Burberry shop, right? Arms folded like this going... Tut, tut, tut. It's going to take some while, a while to convince me. And this is what happens when new creative directors come, blah, blah, blah. You have to train the customer again. But this, this horse is not being broken that easily. Okay, there's a rose clutch. Fine. Faux fur trench coat. Key word here being faux. £7,900. It just... You expect these prices from Bottega. You expect these prices from those brands that have already trained you, okay? And like I said, you don't always have these prices from Burberry, but this is the direction we're get, they're going in. We just need to, you know, either jump on or jump off, you know, on the night or whatever. Um, the bags aren't really giving much. I really expected... There was one bag that I saw... Um, oh, that was pre-fall, that was pre-fall. Okay, we've got some time to wait. There, there's a good bag in pre-fall, it's like a cute... <laughs> yeah, it's sort of Bottega Jody-ish, to be honest with <laughs> you. Oh, hmm, hmm, I'm seeing correlations. Uh, this chest satchel, I mean, what is... I do like the hardware, like the chunky hardware of the night, okay? I'm a fan of that, I like that. But the bag itself, I mean, it's just a very simple crossbody. That's actually quite small. She's TBE, 2,590. It's just, I'm, I've got a lot of questions. Wool blend track, track, trout, like joggers here. 950, I will say I do like the color name. I do like the fact that the color is called treacle. We don't use that word enough, okay? Ooh, word of the day. Try to use the word treacle in a sentence. You can also use it as a term of endearment. Oh, come here, treacle. You know, ooh, excellent word. Put it into use, very English. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I expect that the shoes are gonna do well. The bags, and the shoes are sort of priced within general, you know, designer brand 
pricing. The bags are a bit up there. I don't know. I will be very, very interested to see how this sort of performs. It's not going to take a season to get us used to this or for, you know, his sort of time at Burberry to do well. It's going to take a while. But this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting that turtle. I'm very disappointed by it because 1,500, I was like, max, max, that turtleneck is going to be 850. And even then I was like, that for a turtleneck is extortionate, you know? That's like not cashmere. No, cashmere, nowhere to be found. It's wool blend. Okay, it's mohair. So you want me to itch for 1,500? I'm very disappointed if you can't tell. Anyway, what do you think of New Berber and their pricing and the designs and the Bottega Veneta to the Berber of it all? I'm keen to hear your thoughts. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.